I'll be honest, the festive season is not always my favourite time of year. I find the pressure and strong focus on commercialism a real strain. So, I have decided to make this Christmas as peaceful and lovely as possible, and I'm going to concentrate my time and energy on creating a relaxing and harmonious time spent with the people I love. This Christmas, I'm going to make my home a haven in which I can relax and enjoy the pleasures of Christmas. Cozy nights fireside with a hot chocolate, lazy afternoons in the kitchen, baking slowly and cooking some of my favourite foods. Fun evenings having drinks and conversation. These are the only things that I want for Christmas this year. Thank you for joining me in this Christmas special, where we'll decorate my tree together and I'll share with you my favourite festive cocktail. I'm wishing you a wonderful and happy Christmas. I got my tree from a local farm and it is almost 12 feet tall. I've left it to stand and open up for two days so that the branches can fall into place. Now it's time to decorate. So I'm going to begin decorating the tree with the lights and this is the place that you should always begin because you really need to get in between the tree so if you put your decorations on first you're going to knock them off and cause havoc and my sister always asks me every year Nick what's the best way to do the tree and it's always lights first and to get a really professional looking tree the trick is to light the tree from within because otherwise you you know you can only see the outside of the tree and you don't get to see the fullness of it whereas if you light from within putting the lights close to the trunk and coming out you're going to get light and shade and you're going to be able to see full body and that is how most professional people get their trees looking so wonderful and it's often why in a hotel or a restaurant where they've got an amazing tree it's how it looks so good it's all to do with the lighting and also what you want to do is to get two different types of lighting so you can see that these two lights are quite different they're both warm glow but this one's slightly warmer so I'm going to use two sets I've got 750 here and 500 here and that will really glow my tree and make it look amazing I'm starting at the base of the tree closest to the trunk I'm going to wrap the lights around every branch as thoroughly as possible and work my way in and out until I've reached the top of the tree. This is quite strenuous work and requires patience. It can also be daunting. My advice, as ever, is to just keep going and don't think about it too much. Before you know it, you will have reached the top. As I mentioned previously, lights really do make a great foundation for a wonderful tree, so do take the time to thoroughly work on this area and do it as best as you can. So the lights are on my tree and the general rule is that you'll need a hundred lights for every foot of your tree. So I've got a 12 foot tree almost, so I need about 1200 lights. And I've got just over that on here, but I actually think it needs probably a little bit more. But I'm not gonna bother doing it because it's just taken me about an hour to do that. Stressful work. And you know, this is not a hotel, this is just my home. So it doesn't matter if it doesn't look perfection, it looks good enough and I'm really pleased with the lights. So now I'm gonna move on to putting on the decorations. With decorations, I don't really have any particular rules or tips that are set in stone. 
I would say that if you're going out and buying new decorations, it's obviously best to stick with some sort of theme, either with the colour or with the types of decorations that you buy. I bought mine about eight years ago, and I chose them because they are fairly classic and timeless, and have fit in well with the decor in all the homes that I've lived in. I do think this will be the final year for these particular decorations. They are ready for retirement. I have these roses that I used many years ago for a flower arrangement, and I've decided to use them as a gap filler in my tree. I'll just place them in between the branches. Living in Scotland, I had to have a touch of tartan. These are also good gap fillers and really fill out the tree. I think my tree is done. I was not aiming for it to look like a professionally decorated tree where every inch is covered in baubles. I like this homely and classic look and find it calming. Remember, you'll have to live with your tree for the next six weeks, so make sure that it's how you want it. I'm just wrapping some fake gifts to put under the tree. A good tip for large boxes like this one is to wrap them on the diagonal so that the paper reaches and covers all sides. Another good trick is double-sided tape. You can fold the edges of the paper over and secure the tape underneath for a very neat and clean finish. After all that hard work, it's time for a cocktail. This is my Bailey's Salted Caramel and Chocolate Martini. It's a naughty but nice festive treat that I think you'll love. I'm using a vegan chocolate sauce and coating the inside of my glass by drizzling around it. Next I'm taking my cocktail shaker and filling it with ice about halfway. Add two shots of Bailey's Salted Caramel Irish Cream. You could also use just regular Bailey's if you don't have salted caramel, but this one is an extra delicious treat. And now one generous shot of vodka. Next I'm topping up with almond milk, but you can use whatever milk you prefer. And with the lid firmly on, it's time to give it a really good shake. Pour into your glass and finish with cream and a sprinkling of cinnamon and another drizzle of the chocolate sauce. This cream that I'm using is a dairy-free cream and I'm so glad I found it because I really missed having cream and this one is so delicious and you can't even tell that it's non-dairy. Join me next Friday for part two where I'll show you how to make a natural Christmas wreath as well as a delicious recipe and how I'm setting my table. Until then, bye bye and thank you for watching.